हेलो एवरी वन कैसे आप सब लोग आई हो कि आप सभी लोग बहुत अच्छे होंगे एंड वन सेकेंड वेलकम टू अर चैनल बीट द नीट तो बेटा जी मैं आप लोगों के लिए नेक्स्ट चैप्टर की ऑडियो बुक लेकर के जल्दी से आ गई हूँ एंड आप लोगों के साथ में वो शेयर करने वाली हूँ एंड आज हम लोग जो करेंगे ऑडियो बुक दैट इज ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन एनिमल्स तो इसके ऑडियो बुक मैं बनाऊंगी इससे काफी सारा पोर्शन रिमूव हो गया है तो आप लोगों के लिए एक शॉर्ट इंटरेस्ट ऑडियो बुक जो न्यू एन बेस्ड है वो आप लोगों के साथ में शेयर कर रही हूँ जो बच्चों ने अभी तक मेरे चैनल को ज्वाइन नहीं किया है तो जल्दी से सब्सक्राइब कर लीजिए एंड बेल आइकन को जरूर प्रेस करिएगा ताकि आप लोगों के पास में मेरे हर एक वीडियो का नोटिफिकेशन आए एंड आई होप कि मेरे वन मिनट बायोलॉजी वाले शॉर्ट्स भी आपकी हेल्प कर रहे होंगे ताकि आप लोगों को एक मिनट से भी कम टाइम में पूरा कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियर हो जाए जो टॉपिक्स आपके बार बार नीट एग्जाम में बोर्ड एग्जाम में रिपीट होते हैं बार बार रिपीट होते हैं उनसे बार बार क्वेश्चन आते हैं ऐसे टॉपिक्स के मैं आप लोगों के लिए शॉर्ट बना रही हूँ जिसमें मैं उनकी कंप्लीट इन्फॉर्मेशन आपको दे रही हूँ तो आप लोग उसको भी जाकर के विजिट करिएगा एंड लिंक मैंने डिस्क्रिप्शन में दे दिया है अगर आप लोग ने मेरा अभी तक टेलीग्राम चैनल नहीं ज्वाइन किया है तो बेटा जी ज्वाइन कर लीजिए क्योंकि दैट इज द ओनली प्लेस वेयर आई कैन शेयर ऑल दी पी एंड एवरी नोट्स आपकी सारी चीज़ें मैं आप लोगों के साथ में वहीं पर शेयर करती हूँ तो जिन बच्चों ने अभी तक लिंक नहीं ज्वाइन किया है प्लीज जाइए डिस्क्रिप्शन में उस लिंक को देखिए एंड जाकर के उसको ज्वाइन कर लीजिए एंड जो ऑडियो बुक्स आप लोग पहले चाहते हैं आप लोग मुझे शेयर कर सकते हैं कमेंट सेक्शन में एंड बहुत जल्दी मैं हिंदी की ऑडियो बुक्स भी आप लोगों के साथ में शेयर करने वाली हूँ एंड जल्दी मैं पैरल में क्लास ट्वेल्थ के सेशन की भी स्टार्ट कर रही हूँ तो जल्दी ही जितनी जल्दी हो सकता है मैं आप लोगों के लिए ज्यादा से ज्यादा वीडियोज बना करके आप लोगों के साथ में शेयर करूंगी तो बस आप लोग मुझे अपना ऐसे ही प्यार देते रहिए मैं आप लोगों के लिए इसी तरह से आपकी तैयारी को बूस्ट करने के लिए हर संभव वो कोशिश करती रहूंगी जिससे आपका सिलेक्शन नीट में जल्द से जल्द हो जाए जल्द से जल्द नहीं पहली बार में ही हो जाए तो चलिए मैं ये सिलेबस के लिए बच्चे थोड़ा सा कंफ्यूज रहते हैं ना कि क्या है इस चैप्टर में क्या क्या आ रहा है क्या नहीं आ रहा है तो अगर किसी को कंफ्यूजन है तो देख लिया आपका ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर का सिलेबस है एंड जो चैप्टर हम आज करने वाले हैं वो है आपका स्ट्रक्चरल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन एनिमल चैप्टर सेवन चैप्टर सिक्स की मैंने कर दी है चैप्टर फाइव की बना दी है मैंने एंड एक्सप्लेनेटरी वीडियोज भी चल रहे हैं पैरलर में बहुत सारी चीज़ें चल रही हैं तो कोशिश तो ये है कि बहुत तेज़ी से मैं आप लोगों को बहुत सारी चीज़ें प्रोवाइड करूँ बट देखते हैं कैसे कैसे चीज़ें मैनेज होती हैं तो ये आपका चैप्टर है जिसमें मैं आप लोगों के साथ में मॉर्फोलॉजी एनाटॉमी एंड फंक्शंस ऑफ डिफरेंट सिस्टम दैट इज़ अ डाइजेस्टिव सर्कुलेटरी रेस्पिरेटरी नर्वस एंड रिप्रोडक्टिव ये सारे सिस्टम हम पढ़ेंगे किसके फ्रॉक के तो स्टार्ट करते हैं चैप्टर को बिना किसी देरी के चैप्टर सेवन इज स्ट्रक्चरल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन एनिमल इन द प्रीसीडिंग चैप्टर यू केम अक्रॉस अ लार्ज वराइटी ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म बोथ यूनिसेलुलर एंड मल्टी सेलुलर ऑफ द एनिमल किंगडम इन यूनिसेलुलर ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑल फंक्शन लाइक डाइजेशन रिस्पायरेशन एंड रिप्रोडक्शन आर परफॉर्म बाई ए सिंगल सेल इन द कॉम्प्लेक्स बॉडी ऑफ मल्टी सेलुलर एनिमल्स द सेम बेसिक फंक्शन आर कैरीड आउट बाई डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स ऑफ सेल्स इन अ वेल ऑर्गेनाइज मैनर द बॉडी ऑफ अ सिंपल ऑर्गेनिज्म लाइक हाइड्रा इज मेड ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सेल्स एंड द नंबर ऑफ सेल्स इन ईच टाइप कैन बी इन थाउजेंड्स The human body is composed of billions of cells to perform various functions. How do these cells in the body work together? As you have already learned in your earlier classes in multicellular or animals, a group of similar cells along with intercellular substances perform a specific function. Such an organization is called tissue. You may be surprised to know that all complex animals consist of only four basic types of tissues. These tissues are organized in specific proportion and pattern to form an organ like stomach, lung, heart and kidney. When two or more organs perform a common function by their physical and or chemical interaction, they together form organ system. Example digestive system, respiratory system etc. Cells, tissues, organs, and organ system split up the work in a way that exhibits division of labor and contribute to the survival of the body as a whole. Seven point one: Organ and organ system. The basic tissues, as you have learned in earlier classes, organize to form organs, which in turn associate to form organ systems in the multicellular organisms. Such an organization is essential for more efficient and better coordinated activities of millions of cells constituting an organism. Each organ in our body is made of one or more types of tissues. For example, our heart consists of all four types of tissues that is epithelial, connective, muscular and neural. We also notice after some careful study that the complexity in organ and organ system displays certain discernible trend. The discernible trend is called evolutionary trend. You will study the details in class 12. In this chapter you are being introduced to morphology and anatomy of frog morphology refers to study to of form or externally visible features in the case of plants or microbes the term morphology precisely means only this in case of animals this refers to the external appearance of the organs or parts of the body the word anatomy conventionally is used for the study of morphology of internal organs in the animals 
you will learn the morphology and anatomy of frog representing vertebrates. Agyapka frog 7.2 Frogs can live both on land and in fresh water and belong to class Amphibia or Phylum Chordata. The most common species of frog found in India is Rana Tigrina. They do not have constant body temperature that is their body temperature varies with the temperature of the environment. Such animals are called cold blooded or poikilotherms. You might have also noticed changes in the color of the frog while they are in grasses and on dry land. They have the ability to change the color to hide them from their enemies that is camouflage. This protective coloration is called mimicry. You may also know that frogs are not seen during peak summer and winter. During this period, they take shelter in deep burrows to protect them from extreme heat and cold. This is known as summer sleep, estivation and winter sleep, hibernation respectively. 7.2.1 Morphology Have you ever touched the skin of frog? The skin is smooth and slippery due to the presence of mucus. The skin is always maintained in a moist condition. The color of dorsal side of body is generally olive green with dark irregular spots. On the ventral side, the skin is uniformly pale yellow. The frog never drinks water but absorbs it through the skin. Body of a frog is divisible into head and trunk. A neck and tail are absent. Above the mouth, a pair of nostrils is present. Eyes are bulged and covered by an ictiating membrane that protects them while in water. On other side of eyes, a membranous tympanum here receives sound signals. The forelimbs and the hind limbs help in swimming, walking, leaping and burrowing. The hind limbs end in five digits and they are larger and muscular than forelimbs that end in four digits. Feet have webbed digits that help in swimming. Frogs exhibit sexual dimorphism. Male frogs can be distinguished by the presence of sound producing vocal sacs and also a copulatory pad on the first digit of the forelimbs which are absent in female frogs. 7.2.2 Anatomy The body cavity of frogs accommodate different organ systems such as digestive, circulatory, respiratory, nervous, excretory and reproductive systems with well developed structures and functions. Figure 7.2 Let me show you the frog diagram also. This is a 7.1 external features of frog. You can see here trunk, head, eye, forelimb, hind limb, everything is visible. Now the next one is the 7.2 diagram. This diagram they are talking about. And this is the diagrammatic representation of internal organs of frog showing complete digestive system. Let me minimize it a bit so that you can see the whole diagram in one page. Yeah, this is the diagram. All the parts you can see heart, esophagus, liver, stomach, intestine, rectum, cloacal aperture, cloaca, urinary bladder, ureter, kidney, fat bodies, lung, gallbladder, everything is here. Let's read it. The digestive system consists of alimentary canal and digestive glands. The alimentary canal is short because frogs are carnivores and hence the length of intestine is reduced. The mouth opens into the buccal cavity that leads to the esophagus through pharynx. Esophagus is a short tube that opens into the stomach which in turn continues as the intestine, rectum and finally opens outside by the cloaca. Liver secretes bile that is stored in the gallbladder. Pancreas, a digestive gland, produces pancreatic juice containing digestive enzymes. Food is captured by the bilobed tongue. Digestion of food takes place by the action of HCL and gastric juices secreted from the walls of the stomach. Partially digested food called chyme is passed from stomach to the first part of the small intestine, the duodenum. The duodenum receives bile from gallbladder and pancreatic juices from the pancreas through a common bile duct. Bile emulsifies fat and pancreatic juices, digest carbohydrates and proteins. Final digestion takes place in intestine. Digested food is absorbed by the numerous finger-like folds in the inner wall of intestine called villi and microvilli. The undigested solid waste moves into the rectum and passes out through cloaca. Frog respire on land and in the water by two different methods. In water, skin acts as aquatic respiratory organ, cutaneous respiration. Dissolved oxygen in the water is exchanged through the skin by diffusion. On land, the buccal cavity, skin and lungs act as the respiratory organs. The respiration by lungs is called pernary respiration. The lungs are a pair of elongated pink colored sac-like structure present in the upper part of the trunk region, that is thorax. Air enters through the nostrils into the buccal cavity and then to the lungs. During estivation and hibernation, gaseous exchange takes place through skin. The vascular system of frog is well developed. Closed type frogs have a lymphatic system also. The blood vascular system involves heart, blood vessels and blood. 
The lymphatic system consists of lymph, lymph channels and lymph nodes. Heart is a muscular structure situated in the upper part of the body cavity. It has three chambers, two atria and one ventricle and is covered by a membrane called pericardium. A triangular structure called sinus venosus joins the right atrium. It receives blood through the major veins called vena cava. The ventricle opens into a sac like conus arteriosus on the ventral side of the heart. The blood from the heart is carried to all parts of the body by the arteries that is the arterial system. The veins collect blood from different parts of the body to the heart and form the venous system. A special connection between liver and intestine as well as the kidney and lower parts of the body are present in frogs. The former is called hepatic portal system and the later is called renal portal system. The blood is composed of plasma and cells. The blood cells are RBC red blood cells or erythrocytes, WBC white blood cells or leukocytes and platelets. RBCs are nucleated and contain red colored pigment namely hemoglobin. The lymph is different from blood. It lacks few proteins and RBCs. The blood carries nutrients, gases and water to respective sites during the circulation. The circulation of blood is achieved by the pumping action of the muscular heart. This elimination of nitrogenous waste is carried out by a well-developed excretory system. The excretory system consists of a pair of kidneys, ureters, cloaca and urinary bladder. These are compact dark red and bean like structures situated a little posteriorly in the body cavity on both sides of vertebral column. Each kidney is composed of several structures and function units called uriniferous tubules or nephrons. Two ureters emerge from the kidneys in the male frogs. The ureters act as a urinogenital duct which opens into the cloaca. In females, the ureters and the oviduct open separately in the cloaca. The thin walled urinary bladder is present ventral to the rectum which also opens in the cloaca. The frog excretes urea and thus is a ureotelic animal. Excretory waste are carried by blood into the kidney where it is separated and excreted. The system for control and coordination is highly evolved in the frog. It includes both neural system and endocrine glands. The chemical coordination of various organs of the body is achieved by hormones which are secreted by the endocrine glands. The prominent endocrine glands found in frog are pituitary, thyroid, parathyroid, thymus, pineal body, pancreatic islets, adrenals and gonads. The nervous system is organized into a central nervous system, brain and spinal cord, a peripheral nervous system, cranial and spinal nerves and an autonomic nervous system, sympathetic and parasympathetic. There are 10 pairs of cranial nerves arising from the brain. Brain is enclosed in a bony structure called the brain box, cranium. The brain is divided into forebrain, midbrain and mid brain. Forebrain includes olfactory lobes, paired cerebral hemispheres and unpaired diencephalon. The midbrain is characterized by a pair of optic lobes. Hindbrain consists of cerebellum and medulla oblongata. The medulla oblongata passes out through the foramen magnum and continues into the spinal cord which is enclosed in the vertebral column. Frog has different types of sense organs, namely organs of touch, sensory papillae, taste, taste buds and smell, nasal epithelium, vision eyes and hearing tympanum with internal ears. Out of these eyes and internal ears are well organized structure and the rest are unicellular aggregations around nerve endings. Eyes in a frog are a pair of spherical structures situated in the orbit in a skull. These are simple eyes possessing only one unit. External ear is absent in frog and only tympanum can be seen externally. The ear is an organ of hearing as well as balancing that is equilibrium. Frogs have well organized male and female reproductive system. Male reproductive organs consist of a pair of yellowish avoid testes figure 7.3. Let me show you the diagram first. Yeah, here is the male reproductive system and here you can see all the parts that is the fat bodies, kidneys, urinogenital duct, cloaca, cloacal aperture, urinary bladder, rectum, adrenal gland, testis, vas efferentia. And here is the female reproductive part. You can see this is the oviduct. These are the ovaries and these are the ovas. You can see the black circle there. And these are the ureters. This is the cloaca. This is cloacal aperture. And uh, that is the urinary bladder. And this is the complete female reproductive part. Male reproductive organs consist of a pair of yellowish ovoid testes which are found adhered to the upper part of the kidneys by a double fold of peritoneum called mesoartium. 
Vasa efferentia are 10 to 12 in number that arise from testis. They enter the kidneys on their side and open into the Widder's canal. Finally, it communicates with the urinogenital duct that comes out of the kidneys and open into the cloaca. The cloaca is a small median chamber that is used to pass fecal matter, urine and sperms to the exterior. The female reproductive organs include a pair of ovaries, figure 7.4, I have already shown you that diagram. The ovaries are situated near kidneys and there is no functional connection with kidneys. A pair of oviduct arising from the ovaries opens into the cloaca separately. A mature female can lay 2500 to 3000 ova at a time. Fertilization is external and takes place in water. Development involves a larval stage called tadpole. Tadpole undergoes metamorphosis to form the adult. Frogs are beneficial for mankind because they eat insects and protect the crop. Frogs maintain ecological balance because these serve as an important link of food chain and food web in the ecosystem. In some countries, the muscular legs of frogs are used as food by man. Now the summary of the chapter. Cells, tissues, organs and organ system split up the work in a way that ensures the survival of the body as a whole and exhibit division of labor. A tissue is defined as group of cells along with intercellular substances performing one or more functions in the body. Epithelia are sheet-like tissues lining the body's surface and its cavities, ducts and tubes. Epithelia have one free surface facing a body fluid or the outside environment. Their cells are structurally and functionally connected at junctions. The Indian bullfrog, Rana tigrina, is a common frog found in India. Body is covered by skin, mucous glands are present in the skin which is highly vascularized and helps in respiration in water and on land. Body is divisible into head and trunk. A muscular tongue is present which is bilobed at the tip and is used in capturing the prey. The alimentary canal consists of esophagus, systema, condestine and rectum which open into the cloaca. The main digestive gland are liver and pancreas. It can respire in water through skin and through lungs on land. Circulatory system is closed with single circulation. RBCs are nucleated. Nervous system is organized into central, peripheral and autonomic. The organs of urinogenital system are kidneys and urinogenital ducts, which open into the cloaca. The male reproductive organ is a pair of testes. The female reproductive organ is a pair of ovaries. A female lays 2500 to 3000 ova at a time. The fertilization and the development are external. The eggs hatch into tadpoles, which metamorphose into the frogs. So this is all about the chapter structural organization in animals and I hope this audiobook will help you a lot in your quick revision. And soon I will share the all complete chapters audiobook along with the explanation also I am making the videos. So soon I will share that videos also with. And how do you these videos? How do you share them in the comment section? And how do you get help from the audiobooks to revise audiobooks? And what is your method of revision? What do you do with the audiobook? And or do you listen to the audiobook and revise the audiobook? What do you apply your method of making the revision fast? मेरे साथ कमेंट सेक्शन में शेयर करिएगा ताकि बाकी बच्चों के साथ भी हम ये बात शेयर कर सके कि दिस इज द बेस्ट वे टू रिवाइज सो मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में टिल देन दिस स्टेट यून विद मी बाय बाय एवरीवन टेक केयर